Hello fellow mystics, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by to my channel Diaries of a Lunar Soul. I hope your week went well. Mine was okay, <laughs> hanging in there, but it was okay-ish. But I sort of, for the masculine energy, because this reading is, I'm tapping into the shadow self of the masculine energy. And during this week, the masculine energy that I've been picking up in terms of shadow work or shadow self readings was that the masculine energy within us or in form of another person is feeling a little bit overwhelmed <laughs> with work because remember we all have the masculine and the feminine energies within us and the masculine energy is the one that takes action okay the the idea is created in the womb of the feminine energy the yin energy and then the masculine takes this idea this seed and makes it grow into something tangible takes action makes it become materialistic and solid form here on earth or the 3d world okay so the energy of the divine masculine collective that i've been tapping into this week i felt like they're feeling a little bit overwhelmed so i'm curious to see what comes through because the the previous reading i did about the masculine energy the messages that came through from the their spirit guide was that there's some shadow aspects within them that are coming up for release and healing but for some reason the masculine has not been doing a lot of shadow work i think because that's why they're feeling a little bit overwhelmed what happens is when you don't do shadow work when you don't talk to your shadow self as often as you should that those emotions get pent up in your body yeah and that's when you start feeling overwhelmed so that's the overwhelming feeling that i was feeling this week so yeah so i want to do a reading and just see what messages your shadow self wants to tell you and guys remember your shadow self is that aspect of yourself that you're not aware of and so the messages that come through here might seem a little bit odd at first but i guarantee you that when you come back to this reading at a later date you will have so many aha uh -huh moments okay so if some messages don't make sense just pick up what resonates and then come back at a later date and watch the whole reading again everything will now seem to fall in, into place okay the shadow aspect is that set of ourselves which we just don't know about or we know about but then we've suppressed it for so long that we've forgotten about it okay and because it's our shadow self i'd like to say that this reading might have a trigger warning meaning there's some messages that may might come through that may not be so comfortable to hear so just keep that in mind okay so if at any point in the reading you feel like oh my god this is too much okay just click away don't force yourself to continue okay click away and then wait a few days and then come back and listen to the reading again okay bottom line take what resonates what doesn't resonate leave it come back to it at a later date and see if it resonates okay so and by the way i already did the messages from the shadow self of the divine feminine energy i'll put a link somewhere here to it so once you're done with this reading make sure to check that out because as i said before and many 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 times we all have our inner feminine and masculine energies okay so as much as maybe you're watching this reading to know more about someone else i also encourage you to watch this reading so that you can know more about your masculine energy even though you feel like you're feminine okay cool so let's tap into the masculine shadow self and first i want to just get a feel of the personality of the of the masculine energy that i'm tapping into so i want to get some personality traits and this is just so that i can get your vibe so if this section of the reading makes sense or feels familiar or you're like uh-huh that sounds like me or like someone i know then it means that <laughs> oh my god these cards are so many then it means the messages that come through are meant for you okay so these two cards just came up without me even one asking any question so and i'll take them so personality trait of the divine masculine energy that i'm tapping into visionary and trickster <laughs> interesting we'll see how that comes through in the main reading okay let's 
put this and then let's finish shuffling all the cards so that I'm done with shuffling and then we can proceed I'm using so many cards today what's the other deck that I wanted to use this one and the feminine energy reading was quite powerful so please remember to watch that shadow self reading from the feminine energy okay spirit please give me a personality trait of the shadow aspect of the masculine energy that I'm tapping into in this reading envy I am the same as everybody but with different challenges okay interesting and then let's get one final just for clarity okay <laughs> today cards are jumping the masculine energy is eager to talk to you guys and we have oh my goodness guys this same card came up in the feminine energy reading so there's a lot of mirroring here and that's why i said it's very good to watch these readings in the form of your inner masculine and feminine energies because you see there's a lot of mirroring here but also this could mean i'm tapping into a twin flame energy the energy of the collective that i did for this shadow self the feminine and this masculine are twin flames okay but labels don't matter take what resonates leave what doesn't one day i'll do a reading about twin flames because there's a lot of misconceptions about this twin flame energy anyway so discovery came up in the feminine reading coming up here now so i'll guess i'll just follow the same method that i used for the feminine reading which is to decipher these ones and then we'll go to the main reading with the tarot so let me just tune into the energy and then i'll explain what i'm getting and these are the personality traits of the shadow self of the masculine energy Hmm. by the way if you can hear sounds in the background people are having parties around me so <laughs> yeah just I hope it's not that loud selling incest the highest bidder okay so the the shadow aspect of the masculine energy that I'm tapping into is he doesn't he's like he doesn't show his true self to people he keeps a part of himself he keeps a very important part of himself something that he actually is away from people he hides who he truly is from people because of this visionary card compromising your vision to make it more acceptable and then manipulating others through duplicity with this trickster card the message coming through is your masculine or rather the the divine masculine i'm tapping into they have so much wealth of information within them that they want to express to the world that they want to talk about and share this knowledge they have about their vision of how they want their life and the life of the people around them to be like he has so much pent-up energy within him and knowledge inside of him that he wants to share with people but for some reason he manipulating others through duplicity he hides this side of himself and it's because with this envy card he hides that side of himself because he sort of wants to be part of the crowd he wants to fit in he doesn't want to be labeled as that cuckoo crazy guy you know <laughs> and the okay so the message let me let me explain like let me give an example like if it's uh, if it's to do with something to do like just this is just a random example okay 
so if for example this masculine energy that i'm tapping into has just recently discovered something about himself about his spiritual path and his spiritual path requires him to maybe do tarot you know like he's discovered that he's very good at reading tarot cards or oracle readings and that's what his calling is he feels like if he switches his career maybe his career is he's a judge you know <laughs> something so logical maybe he's a judge and that's his career so he's thinking oh my god if i change and the, all of a sudden i was a judge i was a social justice judge and then all of a sudden i start telling people about spirituality and things that they cannot see i start talking about tarot cards and images in cards and telling people's future and telling people i'm a healer i'm an energetic healer i can tap into your emotions you know like i'm a clairvoyant he's thinking that move from being a judge to being a tarot card reader is so huge that he can't he can't bring himself to showing that side of himself okay so he's hiding that part of himself yet that is what he loves he's just discovered himself he's rediscovered himself spiritually yeah but he's having a hard time expressing this spirituality this spiritual awakening he has just gone through he's having a hard time sharing it with the people around him the people he loves because he's scared that he'll come out as being cuckoo and crazy like people will be like what the hell are you talking about <laughs> didn't you used to be a judge now you're talking to us about things in the cosmos and the universe and energy that we cannot see so that's what he's having a hard time with he's dimming his light to fit in compromising your vision to make it more acceptable and i've done a reading on that one of my playlists in the messages from your past present and future self there's one reading there where i talk about don't dim your light to fit in and maybe you should go and watch that reading and even the the last messages about from the masculine feminine energy the spirit guides were like you're unique stop comparing yourself to others okay stop caring about what the world will tell will say about you if you follow your path have you answered your calling what is your calling with this discovery card the masculine is having th th that's his shadow aspect right now that he's just discovered himself spiritually he's undergone a intense spiritual awakening but he's having a hard time projecting that vision to the world because he's scared that people will think he's 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 cuckoo and crazy because he's used to people see him as this logical person but now all of a sudden if he starts talking about his spiritual awakening he's like uh -uh, no I, uh, uh, my reputation cannot be destroyed so he's struggling with that his shadow self personality is more often than not he never really shows people who he truly is he wears a mask he wears a facade and that's a shadow aspect because it's really taking a toll on him because he just wishes that he could with this envy card envy he wishes that he could just find people around him that he can express this this aspect of him and explain to people that this is what i love and this is the real me but he keeps that side hidden interesting right so very interesting so if this seems, seems some familiar to you or you know someone who acts like this or this may be you then this reading is definitely for you okay so now let's see what messages your shadow self wants to tell you okay right that's a very interesting reading very very interesting be your true self masculine <laughs> okay so let's move on to tarot so let's see what energies are challenging the masculine and i think i've talked about that here but anyway let's see what more messages come through what energies are challenging the divine masculine that i'm tapping into right now okay these two cards really want to come up <laughs> these two and i'm struggling to hold the cards that all the cards don't fall so let's pick these two cards okay see guys that's what i'm saying the masculine energy that i'm tapping into is so eager to express his true self to people but he's having a really hard time doing that 
So three of pentacles and the tower card came up for the energies challenging him right now. And then let's get a message from the divine masculine's shadow self with regards to these energies that have come through. Okay, five of swords in reverse. Instantly surrender defensiveness comes through. You're being defensive. Let the world know more about you, masculine. Don't be scared. <laughs> okay. And page of wands. Communication. It's interesting that the Accord card came up. And one of the things I said here was like, if he's a judge. <laughs> Pages are court cards. Okay. So let's let's finish all the decks now i don't have to shuffle again let's see what decks am i going to use let's use this one this is a message from your spirit guides to the divine masculine energy that i'm tapping into the shadow aspect align your life what is not aligned or needs to change exactly see not showing your true self to people different parts of yourself People don't know you, the full you, the real you, the complete you. <laughs> okay. Let's move these cards up. Me and arranging cards. Gosh. <laughs> anyway, I've accepted that that's my fate. I'll always be arranging cards. Okay, let's get the final deck. And now... This is a message from the feminine energy with regards to the shadow aspects that come through here from the masculine. So what does your feminine energy want to tell you about the shadow aspects that are coming up within you for healing? And again, this is a feminine energy where you can look at it in regards to your inner feminine energy, the yin energy, or fe divine feminine energy in form of another person. So if you're thinking of another person, a feminine, this is a message from them. Surrender to inner peace. Okay. Interesting. Right. So, I don't think I want to get any more cards. So, let me just tune into the energy and then I'll explain what I'm getting. So the energy is challenging the divine masculine right now. The shadow aspect. Three of pentacles and the tower. So with this three of pentacles and the tower card... yeah the energy is challenging the masculine you know what the and en the energy is challenging the masculine are pretty much what i said but i'm going to say it in a different way the three of pentacles is a card about work yeah your work your hard work making like seeing the fruits of your hard labor yeah your hard work is now finally paying off but then it's paired with the tower card the tower card is about unexpected destruction of something okay so the energy is challenging the masculine right now is that he has come to the realization suddenly unexpectedly he has just realized that what he's been doing the work he's been doing is not fulfilling him it was built on shaky foundations so it's crumbling down he's just realized that the work he's been doing for a very long time is not fulfilling him anymore he's not feeling it he wants to break through and go. Things are crashing down around him. And the message coming through is these things around him are crashing down and things are not going the way he plans, he wants them to go because his higher self, his shadow is trying to tell him it's time to move on to something new, okay? You've perfected what you were working on, yeah? you've 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 done there's an ending you've come to the end of what you were doing okay it's it's time to let go and move on to a new 
endeavor. For some of you, your shadow self is saying, time for you to get a new career. Time to, for you to shift careers. Okay? Because what you're, if you keep holding on to this thing, your work, in the long run, you will still come crumbling down because what you're doing right now is not in alignment, which is this card here. I'll talk about it later. It's not in alignment with what your soul purpose wanted to achieve in this phase of your life. So while yes, in the past, what you've been doing has been helping people or has been helping you materially and has been sustaining you, right? Financially, and you've been doing well, your soul is saying at this moment in life you've moved on you're a step above now and what you're doing now needs to change you can no longer keep doing what you're doing that's what your shadow self is saying because whatever it is that you're doing is not serving your higher purpose with regards to the phase that you're in remember i've said in the personality check that the masculine has just discovered something about himself spiritually yeah and he's having a hard time expressing this truth or accepting this truth because accepting this truth that he has learned something spiritually about himself and his mission work accepting that truth means he will have to let go of a certain job a certain career that he has put a lot of work into he's having a hard time letting go of that career but your shadow self is telling you with this tower card it's time to let go and if you wait any longer things are even going to be much harder okay every that chaos that's happening around you right now that's your higher self trying to push you you know the way a bird pushes its baby out of the nest so that it can fly <laughs> like the universe is sort of nudging you by force they're making things not go your way because the universe is trying to tell you it's time to get off the, get out of the nest okay time to move to a new direction because what you're doing right now is not in alignment with what your soul decided to do in this phase of your life okay it's not in alignment and you need to move on so the energy is challenging the masculine right now is the masculine is having a hard time letting go of something and i'm sensing it's something to do with work because of also this page of wands card here is something to do with work the masculine the energy is challenging the divine masculine right now is he's having a hard time accepting change accepting that the work he's been doing has come to an end and it's time for him to step into his true purpose spiritual purpose and for some of you i'm sensing he's a clairvoyant with the visionary card here he's a clairvoyant and maybe the next phase of his life that his soul wants him to now start has to do with him sharing his vision to the world he ha he has a spiritual purpose right now he in the past he has been a little bit materialistic <laughs> but now the phase of his life that is starting it's more of a spiritual purpose more of what he does has to be based on empowering and elevating his consciousness rather than amassing wealth he has acquired all the wealth that he needs to acquire that's what the messages that, that is coming through he has acquired the wealth he needs to acquire now he needs to use that wealth to empower other people to help other people discover themselves spiritually that's what he's just realized but he's having a hard time letting go of that career that he had because that career has given him a lot of power and money but he's having a hard time letting that go and he's having a hard time showing to people that i also feel like i'm done i'm done with this job i need to do something new okay those are the energies challenging him so then the messages that now from his shadow self are that with this five of swords and the page of ones the message from his shadow self is divine masculine your shadow self is saying if you surrender defensiveness if you stop holding on because the five of ones card is a card of of you've succeeded yeah 
you've succeeded but are you seeing these guys on the background are like oh my god we failed you know and sometimes this card can mean being too defensive okay like you're being too defensive and forgetting to be compassionate with the people around you okay so it came in reverse meaning here i'm i'm getting the the message of if you stop being defensive if you surrender to this change if you just accept that it's time for you to move on to a new career your shadow self is saying there's such good news coming your way work related news this page of wands is a card of communication good communication happy communication with regards to work are you saying it's like this person is bringing something you see this person is facing this guy so if you stop masculine if you stop being so defensive and holding on to this career because you think like you won't have any more opportunities your shadow self is saying when you do let go when you accept this change when you start showing people the true you the you that you've discovered about your spirituality when you start showing people your true self when you start living your purpose that you've now stepped into and let go of this career and ac accept that you've come to the end of that business or that project great news is on its way okay you have to take a leap of faith there's this saying you jump and then the universe will cut you don't say don't wait for the universe to tell you i'll cut you before you jump you have to jump fast and then trust that the universe will cut you and that's what the message is coming here take a leap of faith be more daring masculine stop being stop holding on to the past the past is done that job that career you're done with that career you can no longer go back and this is a very clear message like i'm not getting any other kind of message this is a career reading <laughs> divine masculine your shadow self is saying that career you're done with it you've done your best and they applaud you and your shadow self is applauding you but now that career is not in alignment with what you need to do right now right now we need you to to be more in your light to be more in your spiritual path okay you've been too practical remember you have to balance spirituality and practicality you've been too in the 3d world now we need your work to shine a light in the 5d world okay and and once you take this leap of faith once you just decide okay crap i'm leaving this job i'm moving to a new place so that i can start a new job you'll be amazed because there's something coming your way okay but that something cannot come your way if you keep holding on to this other thing and your shadow self is giving me uh, uh, this picture if you're holding something your hands are not free right if you're holding on to something then your hands are not free and when your hands are not free can you receive something else you can't so your shadow self is saying masculine let go let go open up your hands so that you can receive this gift that's coming from you from the universe and this gift that's coming to you is as a result of all the hard work you've done in that career that you you've been now asked to let go it's a reward that's it's a reward from the universe telling you thanks for doing that good job okay thanks for being that good judge that you were just an example or thanks for being that good teacher that you were but now so here's your reward thank you so much but now we need you to do something else something new okay but you have to let go yeah let go so that you can receive stop being so defensive stop surrender to change okay stop fearing the universe has got your back that's what your miss that your shadow self is saying okay and with this message from your guides which is what i've just said but i'll repeat what is not aligned or needs to change again the change card comes through here so the message here is i think what i've just said that what you're doing right now is not in alignment with what your soul mission at this phase of your life said it would accomplish and it's making you feel a little bit disoriented and fragmented so you guys are saying if you guys the divine masculine energy if you've been feeling a little bit out of balance and ungrounded 
like you're feeling all over the place like you're confused like you can't make proper decisions you feel like you're making a decision and then the next minute you're changing it's because you're not in alignment with your true self when you're in alignment with what your soul needs you to do everything falls into place naturally okay so things right now seem like this chaotic yeah because you're not in alignment okay and for you to become in alignment you need to accept and show people your true self stop stop holding on to those emotions and i'm getting a message that for the divine masculine that i'm tapping into they find it hard to express their emotions not that they don't have emotions there are cases of still waters run deep like they are very emotional deep down but they they rarely show it to people they hold it in yeah the shadow self yeah but the phase of life that you're starting right now masculine is calling you to be your authentic self express your emotions of course not be too emotional like in the right right amount of emotions okay but you can no longer be this trickster energy here where you're 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 duplicitous yeah you're showing people one thing but deep down you're some someone else you can't be that it's not in alignment with who you are the phase of your life that you're about to start right now needs you to be the authentic you and if people don't like the you the you that you are when you're authentic well to hell with them <laughs> yeah you be you don't dim your light to fit in okay you're unique okay this card here i am the same as everybody but with different challenges you're unique okay so don't dim your light to fit in when you when you become your true self your authentic self you see that pe- those people that you've been yearning to attract into your life who understand the real you they will come in to your life but they can only come in if you show them your authentic self because these people are waiting to see your authentic self so that they can come to you okay the people you want to attract into your life who you you will be able to just express your emotions without need feeling like feeling guilty or feeling emotional they're tapping into the frequency of your authenticity so if you're not authentic you will not attract that authentic group of people okay and that's the phase of life that you're now coming into and that phase of your life will require you to change careers <laughs> very direct change careers because the career that you're in right now is not allowing you to be the true self it's not allowing you to be the visionary here that you've just discovered about yourself it's not allowing you to be the clairvoyant the clairsentient you know the psychic you've just realized that you're a psychic healer of some sort and i'm saying healer because this card here is blue and green aquamarine the aquamarine aura is a healing energy okay for you to become that psychic healer in whatever manner that you you're going to heal people energetically you need to accept your true self and show people that true self and if and if they they don't accept you it's okay the universe is bringing in people your soul family who will understand and resonate with that authentic part of yourself okay that's what your guides are saying and i sort of should i i feel let me read what said what this card says in the deck that i just see if i've missed any messages okay align your life uh sometimes it's good to read from the deck because it's good to know what the creator of the deck was thinking when they made the deck page 34 so the de- the this is what it says in the in the guidebook what in your life is no longer in alignment with who you truly are we are cyclic beings in a constant state of change of evolution of growth change is one of the only certainties of life when you resist your cyclic nature you resist life and feel stuck many of us have learned to be who the world wants us to be envy but there comes a time when it is harder to hold on to this facade than it is to embrace who we truly are to surrender to how we have changed and align life to that way of being 
if you pulled this card you're being called to let go of who you once were or the things that you once defined yourself by the job the relationship and the mask you wore okay guys and to embrace who you truly are now to courageously step into the person that you came here to be in full authenticity to embrace your weirdness and your uniqueness perhaps you have outgrown some relationships or circumstances that job yeah and it is time to reassess and bring all the parts of your life into alignment so that they are congruent with who you truly are today okay well clearly that what i just said was exactly what the guidebook has said you can rewind that bit of the the reading where i read from the guidebook because there's nothing more i need to add there there's a part of you that has ended there's a cycle you that has ended and that cycle is to do with your job there's a career you need there's a career change happening for you and it's time for you to accept that you're no longer that person what you used to do in that career no longer serves you it doesn't make you happy okay and if you keep holding on to that career it's just gonna more cause more chaos okay like the book said sometimes it's harder to hold on than to let go so just open your arms masculine open stop holding on open and then let this let the universe bring in what you deserve okay time for you to let go and just allow your higher self to take control okay stop some of you i'm sensing you're a little bit of control freaks control freaks you like things going a certain way but you know what the phase you're in right now your higher self is in control and no matter what you do that change will happen change is inevitable okay what happens is the the when you allow change to happen then the change is more smooth and has less bumps but if you resist the change it's just going to be way harder and way more difficult and your life is going to be feel like fragmented and you're going to feel so confused and all over the place okay so just allow that change and allow the universe to carry you your spirit guides are with you and they're trying to help you align your life okay but they can only do that if you let go open up your hands and let go okay masculine that's the message from your guides <laughs> and then finally the message from your feminine energy is cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily so the feminine is just saying do you stop worrying about what other people will think about your new vision your new idea your new career whatever career that you're thinking about starting you follow your light do what you think is best for you not what you think is best for other people surrender to inner peace what makes you feel happy what makes you feel at peace what makes you sleep at night if that job if that new career helps you when you go back to bed and when you get to bed and you sleep and you're like yeah i've done my purpose if it may, if it brings you peace follow that peace okay and when you do follow your inner peace others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily so your feminine energy is saying once you accept who you truly are stop denying this new you that has just you've just found out about yourself once you accept this new you once you let go of that old you that career that relationship maybe some of you are in a relationship by the way and that relationship has come to an end but you're still holding on to it because you feel like oh, if i let go will i get new something new well your fi- feminine energy is saying when you do let go you will attract the people who are meant to be in your life forever <laughs> i don't know why i needed to say forever but yeah that's what she's saying if you want people who are going to last in your life for good for forever it's time for you to follow your inner peace 
the energy I'm getting here is some of you have been feeling overwhelmed because you're trying to please other people. Remember in the at the beginning I said the energy of the collective of the divine masculine that I've been picking up is over they're feeling a little bit overwhelmed at work or something like that. So your feminine energy is saying the reason you've been feeling overwhelmed is because you're trying to please everyone else at the cost of pleasing yourself. So your feminine energy is saying time for you to focus on yourself. Focus on your inner peace. And there's this saying, self-love means giving your best to people instead of giving what's left of you, okay? So when you take care of yourself, it's way easier for you to go out into the world and take care of other people because you have the energy. You've taken care of yourself. You've nurtured yourself. But if you don't take care of yourself, you'll become so depleted. You'll be giving 50% of yourself to people, okay? So... Focus on your inner peace. Focus on what you want to do. Stop worrying about what people around you want you to do. You, what do you want to do? Whatever it is that you want to do, do that. And then people around you, if they're not okay with that, too bad. Let them go. When you let them go, the universe will bring in people who will be okay with this new version of yourself. Okay? So be your authentic self. Don't dim your light to fit in. Okay? Stop being scared to show people your true self. Your true self is such a beautiful energy. Very beautiful energy. Okay? And your shadow self wants to reveal that. Stop hiding it in the shadows. Become the peacock. Yeah? That you are. Show the world the real you. That's the message from your shadow self. Okay? And let's get one final guidance message from the universe. To you because I did this for the feminine energy I might as well do it for this reading too so final message from the universe to you divine masculine yep oh my goodness guys you can't make this up I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided <laughs> you can't make this up isn't this what I've just been talking about that you need to take a leap of faith just trust, trust that this new direction you, the universe is guiding you to take is divinely guided, okay? Just trust that career change, it's divinely guided. You're being pushed to change careers or to move away from a particular relationship or to move away from a particular place because it's going to allow the authentic you to come through, okay? It's divinely guided, guys. You can't make this up. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. So take a leap of faith. That feeling that you've been feeling to do something different, to change careers, to change a job, to change, a, to move away from a relationship, to move away from a, con a certain country, it's divinely guided. So trust that intuition. Some of you have been ignoring your intuition, thinking, eh, is this really true? Well, the universe is here telling, with this card, the universe is telling you, yes, we we are the ones guiding you to take that path that new path because you're done with this current phase of your life there's a new phase of your life that's coming through and you need to take that leap of faith for you to see all the good things that are waiting for you masculine okay so with that said thank you so much guys for taking the time to watch this reading I hope the messages that came through here were useful and remember if it doesn't make sense now this is the shadow self so the shadow self is that part of us that is hidden so it might take a while for your mind to comprehend it okay but the messages coming through here are from your heart the heart has a far more computing power than the mind and it takes a while for the mind to understand what the heart already knows okay so come back to this reading at a later date I'm sure you'll get way more new messages here. Okay, guys. So with that said, see you in my next reading. Bye.